everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Introducing. I'm your girl, Miss Chris, aka Smart Video Girl. And this is the show, Introducing Podcast. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you all for being here. Um, Thank you to all the people who like the likes, the new subscribers. I really, 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 I want to start off by saying I really, truly do appreciate you guys because, I mean, it's just been phenomenal. Like, this is my fifth episode. Uh, we heard last week about the power of five by Miss Sharon Parker. You know, she was talking about her journey in the power of five. And this is episode five for me. This is very special as well. So uh, today's show is called It's in the Stars. Okay. It's in the Stars. And I'm very excited about today's show because we're going to be talking to my girl Foxy Roxy, who is the host of a podcast called the Pro Noia Star Seed Podcast. I did it. Yes. I did it. Yes. 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 It comes on all the time. <laughs> so you just check it out. Make sure you go follow her, like, and subscribe. I'll share the information later, but make sure that you follow her and you like her and you check out her podcast. You support her. Let me tell you, I'm going to say start off with this before she comes on. And I've said this before, that she really has been an inspiration to me to start my podcast journey. Even though I've been doing this for a very long time. She really motivated me and inspired me to say, okay, girl, go, do it now, jump. And in two ways, because she was doing her podcast consistently, faithfully, through everything, you know, and she, her information. It was not just her, it was the information that was shared through her show that helped um, empower me and give me the information that I need to feel that, to grow. And so that's why today's show is called It's in the Stars. We're going to really talk about that. You know, it's got to think about everything. It really is. And um, so um, it's in the stars. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. We're going to bring her on actually in a minute. And then, so she's the new person. We got a new thing because guess what? My sister's back. <laughs> My sister is back from her uh, journey and she's uh, brought back some cool things from um, Houston, Texas, because she was actually in Texas on Juneteenth. So she got to uh, uh, experience and participate in like a pop-up shop that they had there in that area. So she uh, brought some things back from a Black-owned business, and I thought I would share, because that's what we do. And then, um, oh, the new way of thinking. I don't know. Came over me. The new way of thinking. I'm going to save that one. I'm going to save that one for later because I want. I don't. I. I just want. I want to bring on my special guest first, so we can start talking, and then you'll understand when we start talking about the new way of thinking. So, uh, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Really appreciate you. Okay. Um, you can go to Only Greatness Media Production to um, find that and, you know, follow, like, and just, just like, share, and subscribe. I had to read my screen because I forgot what the heck. All right. So without further ado, please help welcome Miss Foxy Roxy to introducing Hey Foxy. Hey, hey, hey. Peace and hey, blessing. How are you? I am well. Thank you for having me, sis. Listen, I'm so excited to have you here. <laughs> Honestly, like, because, you know, I first of all, I've been on your podcast several times. Yes. <laughs> um, and when I told you I was going to do my podcast, you were like, okay, you're coming on my podcast, so you can talk about that. And so, again, to your point, like, so, yes, I... It's a pleasure and an honor to have you here on my platform. Sis. I'm so excited. Yeah, so today the topic is uh, It's in the Stars, right? Mm. And so for those who don't know, just a little bit about you before we get into some of the questions that I have for you. Tell us a little bit about you and the Pro Noia Star City Podcast. 
All right. Well, peace and blessings, everybody. Again, as my sister told you, my name is Foxy Roxy. I am the host of Pro Noia Star C podcast over there on Facebook. We are exclusively on Facebook right now, but we are rolling ourselves on out to YouTube. We are. I know I've been slowly saying, I've been saying that since for like over a year. <laughs> but what we talk about over there is all types of spirituality. We talk about spirituality as a whole, how we think, how we feel, um, how to connect to divine, the universe. Pronoia means that um, the universe is working in your favor because Ooh. paranoia means that you're afraid that everything is working against you, right? So pronoia is a play on paranoia. And we are all star seeds from different star systems. You know, we are all cosmic beings. So, you know, we all are made out of that that dust. So, um, <laughs> yes. So that's where I got the star seed. And of course, it's a podcast, I guess. You know, you know, it's funny is that I never had watched a podcast ever in my life prior to doing this podcast. Like I never watched one. I didn't know what it was supposed to be. I just knew that that was a genre that I was going to fall into. And then mm -hmm. I, I try not to watch too many. I only watch really your show and I listen to Mental Salvation. Right. Okay. That is it because I don't want to be too influenced by other podcasts. I think people are dope. I love when people go out and do their things. I just like I have an open head space. So I don't like to be too influenced by other people's thought processes. So, mm -hmm. but I, like I said, I love that you had me here. I'm very excited because I've seen my sister grow, 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 grow from, um, and I want to say she's always been like this light, but it's like this light that has always been there for everybody else. And it's mm -hmm. like, it's time for that little light to shine for itself. So it's so beautiful to tap into your energy and be here. So yes, mm -hmm. Pronoia Star C podcast is all about spirituality, astrology, numerology. I do tarot. Y'all don't be scared. It's not scary. It's all about us and your intuition and yourself uh, and tapping into yourself. So that's what I do intuition yes. okay if you know if you know then you know intuition is one of those six magical things that we have and i have really explored those too much but uh here on the podcast but i will definitely be talking about that more but <sighs> intuition so like i said you heard it here she her podcast the pronoia starcy podcast is uh Letting us know that one, the universe is always working on us in, in our favor. Hello. Hello. Okay. First thing, we know that. We talk about that here all the time. Okay. And we all come from our own special starts, our own seats. Yes. You know, that special dust. And that's what I really want to talk about today. Like, that's that's kind of the conversation that we're going to be having in in uh because I want people to understand, like, really getting to know who I was through my dust yes. helped me understand who I am in this body, mm -hmm. okay? And it was like, we know, like, on the post I did, like, we know, like, we're talking about astrology. Everybody knows their zodiacs, per se. You know, you know when you were born, you know if you're a Taurus or an Aries or whatever the case is. They know is. their ego. They know mm -hmm. the sun. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. We, we, cause that's our, that's our ego. So we all know, we introduce ourselves. I am a Taurus. I am a Pisces. I am this. That's our, that, of course, the ego is going to introduce itself. <laughs> the rest is hidden. Absolutely. We have no idea that there are other layers to us yeah. of this dust that show up in everyday life that, that have, um, a pathway to where we were are destined to be. You know, it's so it's so funny. I learned all this information on in your on your podcast. So I encourage people to also watch her podcast just in because the information is priceless. Priceless. Okay. Thank priceless. you, sis. And hence hence me here now <laughs> being a star. Because I learned about myself. I learned my true purpose. I learned why I had struggles. <laughs> I learned why I was bumping up against walls. Hello. Yes, yes. Does this resonate with anyone? You know, yes. we all have these struggles and we try to figure out why. It's because we are more than just as we appear here on earth and as as our sun sign, you know, the things that we know. Yeah. It's the that's what we're given. You know, 
I'm giving the, the the basics. Like most people don't even know you're not supposed to read your horoscope based on your sun. You're supposed to read it based on your rising. Your horoscope is not based on your sun sign. Um, when they write them in the little thing, it's based on your rising. So if you don't know what your rising is, you're reading your, your horoscope kind of wrong. So it's it's like we what we don't know, we don't know, right? So that's why some people may say, I don't resonate with this or that. But that's because you're deeper than one layer. You're, you're an onion, baby. You got yeah. layers to you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, see, so go check it out. I'm telling you, I, I learned a lot. I'm like, I don't know, this, this onion been peeled back. Can <laughs> you hear me? Okay. Just like, just, thank you. It's like my yes. backdrop. Thank you. Yes, she says she loves it. Loves it. We are loving it. I'm loving it too. Yes, Bisset is my spirit animal here. Bisset is my guide, y'all. Ew, <laughs> and it's the energy, y'all. It's the energy. Foxy Roxy, make sure you check her out. Chrono your Starcy podcast. As a matter of fact, uh, after the show today, she's going to be going live. So if you go follow like her now, then when she goes live later, you can see that pop up. Okay. All right. All right. So, question. Because of the questions that I asked, you actually were there the day that I went over the questions and developed the questions for the oh, show. Yeah. Did I? Was we I? were at the spa. Oh yeah. Oh yes. yes. Okay. Yes. We were at the spa. <laughs> we were at the spa, and okay. I, that's why I was talking about the stuff. And and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do the show, and these are going to be the questions. Here I am today. Right. Look at you. And let me just say, I am a very proud. Thank you very much for allowing me to be on the fifth show. My number is 23. Two plus three is five. I was born on the 23rd. And we know five is resonates with change. My life, people, is always changing. I have never ever, like, as soon as I get comfortable, it's like, oh, no, ma'am, you're comfortable. Let's change it up. So thank you for the five. I saw that. I said, oh, really? That's what we're doing? Spirit fifth show? Okay. All right. All right, sis. We don't play around here. Spirit leads the way around That's here. Good. I just follow the lead. <laughs> I okay. follow the lead, okay? <laughs> so, so with that being said, mm-hmm. how have you been able to um, handle the changes in your life? How are you able to handle those those changes and maneuver and grow through them? Grow through them. If not by knowing divine and knowing who I am. So it took a while to get to that point. You know, I grew up um, again. Um, I grew up Christian in, in church and everything. And I don't knock it at all. It opened me up to spirituality. Um, and I think I always been different since I was a kid. I just always been inquisitive about certain things. And it's always been with spirituality. Mm-hmm. So whenever I would hear certain things, I would do the my reading myself. And then things would just make me go deeper and deeper into other things. And then I would start meeting people and things would start coming towards me. So whenever I would go through things, you know, uh, what I would do first, <laughs> it was crazy. First thing I would do is grab my Bible. I would grab a Bible and this is how, <laughs> this is how guys, I guess you guys, um, tarot <laughs> kind of resonates with me. I'll grab my Bible. I would not, you know, look for a specific scripture. I would ask divine to guide me to a message. And this is how <laughs> I do with tarot. This is how I do when I am lost. I feel I reach out to divine through different mechanisms, even to this day. So the Bible was my first way of asking divine for a message. You know, I know it was written in there and that I would be guided to it. And then it also helped me, allowed me to understand that I have a direct connection where I can just ask divine instead of asking someone else to ask divine for me or wait until next Sunday or wait until, you know, because I'm crying in the middle of the night sometimes. I need that direct connection. And so when I started tapping into it, I was probably about nine. Um, when I really started tapping into it, like when I was younger, I was always inquisitive, like things happen and we can get into that later, but things got happened to me when I was a kid that made me more spiritual. Like I, I was alone a lot. And it was, so there was just a lot of me in divine time. And so now <laughs> I'm so excited because I didn't understand why, you know, I didn't understand the solitude that I didn't understand being a misfit. I didn't understand not having friends. I didn't understand why I had to keep moving and learning new stuff and learning how to deal with different type of people then 
but I understand it now because the people that come to me are so different. They have different paths that they're going through and I'm able to assist them no matter what, where or who they are, because I have been through so many things that people could never understand. They Most people would not have still be here. Like, honestly, mentally, it would break you some of the things if I tell you my story, but it didn't, it broke me open to who I truly am. And so I am grateful for those, you know, trials and tribulations. So anytime I go through anything, I look for the silver lining in it. I do. I try to say, okay, Maybe this is leaving my life because something better is coming in. Maybe this is happening because I wouldn't let go. So divine is making me let go. Maybe like I always try to figure out why the why to it, because then I can I can get through it. I always know it's going to get better because I look at, you know, the past. I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm winning. That's I'm hard. 10 out of 10. I'm still here. So <laughs> I know it's going to get better. It's just like get through this moment. You know, that type. Yes. Of thing. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, honey, you done preached the whole word. I'm sorry, you don't say a whole lot of things because you were talking about, and my sister can attest to this because we were having this conversation last night. Talking about, you were talking about the isolation. You had that time to connect with your, like, like you said, unbeknownst to yourself, why you had, to, why you were so alone, you know, and and I realized that again from listening to your show because of of my human design. And you gotta listen to her show to know what I'm talking. About. I'm not gonna get into it today. We don't have enough time on the show. No, we okay. could go on. <laughs> we could go on for days. Okay, you have to go back, watch some of her shows. Go, you Google it, something. But because of my human design, I had to be alone. Like you know, you had to, you had to be alone. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It was part of how the, it was part of your journey. Yep. Yeah, and you being able to tap into to divine, you know what I'm saying, is key because like you said, some people could just they they tap out. Mm -hmm. yep. So so that's key. So you heard her, you heard it. Oh my God. Okay. So <laughs> said how how do you create good vibes for yourself though? How Mm. So as y'all see, I got the smoke burning here. I love incense. I love smells. I love when I need to, and I'm gonna tell you, this is how I know when when I'm out of alignment, my space is messy. Everything is messy because it's a reflection of how I'm feeling inside. But when it's clean and I'm burning the frankincense and I got the and 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 in good vibes, I I mean, really, if we just take away noise, you know, if you just step out into nature, just like sometimes I need peace. I leave my phone. People be calling me and be don't believe me. They be like, man, you ain't leaving your phone. Bullshit. I'm sorry. I leave my phone. <laughs> I, I curse. Sorry. Right. I leave my phone. Okay. I, if I go to the park, it may be in my car, but I'm not taking it with me unless I plan on taking pictures and this one do not disturb because mm -hmm. I'm not trying to talk to nobody. I'm trying to be with nature. So, um, I ground myself a lot, you know, that's how I get my vibration higher. So that when I walk in a room with the vibration low, I want to raise that joint up. You know, that is mm -hmm. the whole purpose of each of our existence. Honestly, is to raise the vibration of the room when you walk in. You know, so even so when I'm not at my best, I'm in number, I'm in six two profile hermit mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. I go hermit. I do. I disappear. I get my energy back up. You know, sometimes I got to meditate. Sometimes I need to just be in my own space for a while. Sometimes, you know, I am on my podcast a lot, but you'll notice there'll be days like a whole week. I may not go because what I do is it has to do with me tapping into divine and I can't tap in if I'm not aligned. Right. So I'm always constantly, you know, I'm constantly burning incense and sage and pilo because the smells themselves uplift my vibration. Mm -hmm. You know, people, we need to get back to the simplest things. You know, the sounds of the birds will actually raise your vibration. Just being in nature. You know, mm -hmm. if you want to get, you know, fancy smancy with it, go to a float spot and just get sounds to go away. Because a lot of us don't realize if we got electronics Linked up and stuff that those sounds are coming through while you're sleeping at night. You know, we're never in pure silence. So if you need that, go out into nature and just realign. But that's what I do. I get I get out into nature. Everything is a vibe. That's what this is. That's what yes. she said basically. Just get some good vibes. 
So there yes. you go. Going in nature and smells. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm loving that. I'm so loving that. So look, I've asked several, I've asked a couple people on this question on the show and nobody has seemed to really been able to answer it. Right. Okay. okay. And I'm, I'm, and this is coming from knowing that, you know, that, that, there's masculine and feminine energy, and I know you can mm. understand that. How are you able to balance that? Oh, I love it. I yes. love that question. Thank you. Oh, Nobody's yeah. been able to answer it. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we get an answer? I can give you an answer. Okay. So, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful balance. The thing about it is to be able to first recognize both energies and what they are made for. So the masculine energy is for doing, for protecting, for, you know, being like, if you want to get some stuff done, use your masculine energy. But if you want things to start to come to you, to be in flow, to be, you know, the receiver, you be in your feminine energy. So I work with mine whenever I need to get. So if I'm in, it's like the boardroom to the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sometimes I got to put on my masculine energy when I'm in a room where I need to be seen and heard. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about, you know, I can just step in and and be, you know, Mm -hmm. sometimes you got to speak. And when I do, I need people to hear me. So sometimes I have to step into that masculine energy of I am here and listen, and this is what needs to be done. But the the feminine energy is how I appear, how I may come into the room, how I may smell when I walk into the room. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm going to come in with this feminine energy to make you relax, but then I'm going to use my masculine energy in order for you to receive the message that I'm about to give you. So yeah, oh girl, yes, I love the balance, the left and the right brain. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> there you go. All right. So all the future guests, if you don't know how to answer that question, you just learn. Today, okay, take notes. I told you to bring your pen and paper. I got mine because I asked myself that question and I couldn't answer it. But you know why? It's because of having that understanding. And I've heard it before of what the purpose is for masculine and feminine energy. And that's the reason for the question because in the universe, the way the, the laws work, there is masculine and feminine energy. There's mm. there's purpose for it. It's not yes. just man and woman. It's not your it's not just physical man and physical woman. And I want to make this clear too. There we talk yeah. about balance, but with masculine and feminine energy, it's about harmony. It's not balance because the masculine and feminine they serve two separate purposes. You know, they have their own separate purpose. So it's kind of like puzzle pieces. They don't they're not going to be shaped the same. They're not going to weigh the same, but they fit together very nicely. And that's what it's really about. In balancing your own personal masculine and feminine. Okay, I love it. So it's <laughs> harmony. I'm gonna change that in my vocabulary. Yes, okay. mm-hmm. I am because you know things we. I think people strive for quote unquote balance. Right, so but balance kind of balance is not a. It's not, and I'm not, and I'm not really saying balance. I'm just saying that there is that harmony. Yeah, we want they harmony. go together. Well. Yeah. So harmony. Harmony, that's going to be a new word. Replace balance with harmony. Okay. Vocabulary update. <laughs> I'm reprogramming my brain for those that don't know. Okay. <laughs> Judge me not. Sometimes we need balance. When yeah, things, sometimes we you need, need balance. balance. But when we're working with energy, we want to be in harmony with each that's other. Cool. We don't want to make one energy be equal to the other because it's not the same. You know, we want to feel, you want to flow with it. You want to go with the energy. <laughs> Listen, honey. Okay, listen. You're giving me all kinds of good energies right there. Listen. So, I thank you so much for the answer in that because that really, that really hit home, and that was the reason for that question. So, I hope that people were taking notes on that. I was taking notes. You know, sometimes when you ask the question, it's not necessarily really to get an answer; it's to provoke thought. Mm. And even with you providing answers it should give people something to think about mm-hmm. okay so thank you so much for it. yes 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 girl well, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep talking we're gonna keep talking but but as i usually do i have a new thing and like i said my sister was in a uh texas shout out to my sister hey sister welcome back i love you she was in texas and she brought back this uh, sh- shirt from the company called Rebellious. 
is for my son. And it's from a, a woman. Her name is Latanya Ramsey. Okay, I'll put her information on there. This is it. And she's on Instagram. And this is the shirt. Oh, well, it's pretty cool. My son loves red. So this was looks perfect. like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Rebellious. Yes, I like it. I like it too. Like a I love it. Yes. So make sure you go and check her out. It's, if you follow her on uh, Instagram, it's Rebellious Apparel. And I'll put it in the uh, chat. So that you can check it out. Boo -boo. Shout out to her. Shout out to the black owned businesses out there. And if you would like to, you know, be a new thing or a sponsor, just let me know. Holla at your girl. So don't, don't, don't be afraid to be rebellious. That's what today's show is about. Yeah. Listen, 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 unbeknownst to me, like, listen, first of all, I'm going to say this. Every time you said a number, first you said five, then you said six. And the numbers went tick, tick, just like that. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> I saw it, but I know I'm going to say nothing. Divine okay. be, spirit. Don't be playing. <laughs> spirit, spirit be playing. Spirit. spirit be in the building. And then um, rebellious. So um, in addition to, of course, like the new things, I also do new ways of thinking. And today I want to introduce a new way of thinking. We're going to continue to elaborate on it. And you are the perfect person to talk about this with because... We're going to talk about, and I and I said a little to her about it, but I didn't go into depth. But the new idea or concept that I want to introduce to you all today is the idea of sorcery. Yes. Yes. Sorcery. What do you think about when you think about sorcery? And I just want you to be honest because I want people to, I really want to hear with this because I really. No, wait, wait, me? Yes, you. Okay. Well, you know, I'm a little. And different. the people in the chat. People in the chat. Tell yeah, me. People in the chat going to be a little, maybe a little different about what I think. About. I know. You probably, you know, I I probably shouldn't hear from no, you. I'm not going to say that. Right. But wait. uh, people in the, in the chat, if you're watching, what do you think about when you think about sorcery? Just like a quick couple words. Tell me what you think about when you think about sorcery. But what. Um, I was reading a book and someone brought up a good point of tapping into source, right? And they said that they were a sorcerer. And I said, you know what? I'm a sorcerer too! <laughs> I said, I'm a sorcerer. I'm going to be, a you know why? Because what in essence is saying is that you tap into your source. My source is divine. My source is God. My source is the universe. I am a sorcerer. I don't know about you. If you're not a sorcerer, magic. says magic, yeah. Yeah. And, but that's it. it is. That's where the magic happens. Do you believe in magic? Do you believe in magic? I do. Let me tell you, I'm a sorcerer. Oh, my I'm gosh. I'm a sorcerer. I'm going to encourage you to be a sorcerer because that's where the magic happens. When you tap in to the source when you tap into divine that's where the magic happens become a sorcerer i encourage you all to rethink that word when you hear them say it's sorcery and wizardry and oh it's powerful for them to be sorcerers so what's crazy is they definitely know the power of the word that's why they yeah. still use it but they tell you that it's demon. They demonize it for you to use it. So you'll, oh, you hear it is like, oh, oh no, they doing black magic. Well, what is black magic? See, the thing is, if we don't know, it sounds scary as hell. You know, everything sounds scary when you don't know what it is. You know, just like you just gave the the root word of sorcery is source, and then. So if we, oh my gosh, I just played J. Mills' song, I Say, as one of the songs on my reels. And it says, I'm trapped in the language that I think in. Mm. We are trapped in the language that we think in. We don't even know what we're saying because words have meaning, but we say them so easily without knowing the meaning. Just like I tell my kids, we, we go to work during the weekday. And so we're so tired because it's the week. And then the weekend comes and we got all this energy because the week has ended. When you're weak, you have no energy, you know? 
So then when you're good, having a good morning and then you're walking around all sad because you're in mourning, you know, again, it's the play on words. Your your brain, your subconscious doesn't know how to spell mourning or mourning. It knows what mourning means, though. It, mean, it means sadness. It doesn't, it doesn't know the spelling is different. It doesn't care that the spelling is different. It is your, I try to explain this also to people, your subconscious mind only knows you, right? It only knows you. It knows no one else, no one else, nobody else. So it's like someone living in the basement and it knows you live upstairs and you could have a whole dang on party going on, but it doesn't know that you're talking to anybody else in the party. It knows you're talking to you. So anytime you see somebody that you think is, oh, she's funny looking. It's like, it's telling, oh, I'm funny looking. That's what the subconscious mind is saying. Oh, she thinks she's funny looking. She does, It doesn't know you have company. It doesn't know you're talking to anybody else because it knows no one but you. So this is the main reason why they tell you that be careful of what you say about others is because you're really saying it about yourself. You know, again, this is this is tapping into sorcery. This is tapping into the source to know that you are source. So anything you say about anyone else, everybody else is a reflection of you because your subconscious does not know anyone but you. So if you think, oh, she got a big old butt, and you wonder why you eating all these dang on Weight Watchers, but your butt getting keep getting bigger because you subconsciously keep telling yourself by what you say about other people. And this is what's happening to you. See, we don't, and we shouldn't even have to get that deep most times. We should just be like nice to each other. But when you tell people like right. that, they change their mind about how they start speaking about people. They be like, damn, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. Should have probably been saying it to begin with, but should have probably said in the beginning, but then they realized that it, it actually really does affect them. Like we said, uh, yeah, yeah. So that is so I love deep. sorcery. Sorcery yes. is the bomb. Like, I mean, people would say what I do is considered sorcery, but it's is it's divination. Divination is to tap into divine. Like, there's nothing wrong with divination, it's nothing wrong with using the energy of the wind, the earth fire like these are natural things it's like no no use man no, no, no. no no please no I'm so scared. no 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 <laughs> no no, no. Once you start tapping in then you start realizing that you can get the answers that other places you went you couldn't get the answers because yep. you're the, the source is the supply right Sources of supply, and so they, you 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 hit it all in the head. You hit it all up. You was all on the points, like boom, 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 boom. Like I think you was reading my notes, but I know <laughs> that's not the case because I know we talk all the time. And my sister was just saying, um, because last night again we were just talking about the English language. Just like she was like, well, I don't understand why there's four different meanings for the same word. You know, there's. Again, yes. to your point, it's it's it it's is to manipulate you. It's the double talk. Yeah, it's called it's double English, talk. But it's called double talk. English language. Yes. It's double talk, though. It's like that's why. Why would we have two words? Because it's confusing to the subconscious mind, and it helps you keep you on a lower vibration. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't know what you're saying, it. If you just because you don't know you're participating in rituals, don't mean you're not participating in them. Amen. Ignorance is not is not bliss. Don't let nobody get it twisted. Ignorance is ignorance. But if you want to come out of ignorance, just start listening to what you're saying. You know, we say stuff so easily. And I love the sayings that our parents have given us over years, but we don't even listen to them. Everybody, not your friend, a.k.a. use your power of discernment. Right. But she's not saying that when when, you know, she's saying, check your friends. Mm -hmm. You know, These are little tools and little things we hear and they go in one ear and without out the other but if we actually took the valuable things in mm -hmm. and then think about we do these things in ritual we say good morning every, every day morning mm -hmm. you know we listen to the radio and we listen to the same music it comes on every day that is a ritual that is not the programming you want so if you want to learn about divination about sorcery learn how to use it for your power because they're using it against you so if you don't want to know about it that's fine but it's being used against you right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sharon Parker said of Rosa, who was our guest last week, said our, our ancestors understood our interpower. Yes. Most of their descendants were not taught for decades. Hence, hence where we are now. You know, yeah. hence, you know what I'm saying? You were taught a whole 
Yes, these are these things are very key. And that's why I said the power of power of words, words have power. Thoughts and thoughts are things. Like, you know, and people have I've heard it said before, thought a thought is a thing. It is. It is energy. It is and it's energy. The for one of my first shows, it's, it's a vibe. Everything is a vibe. I started that on purpose because that is the truth. There is no other that is the truth. Everything is a vibe, period. Every thought is um it is an energy that wants to be manifested. Absolutely. So people, even negative thoughts, they want to be manifested. Absolutely. So they go, so just if you don't let it manifest, it'll just go to somebody else and it'll go in their brain. And you may see somebody do some wild stuff and be like, man, I was thinking about doing that. And you know why? A good, I didn't act on it. But it's just an energy and it goes from one person. And the thing about life is that we are all on frequencies. Energy are flowing through us constantly. It's about what we allow ourselves to tune into and what we tap into and what we focus in on is what we actually make manifest into mm-hmm. reality because everything you want, you are the magician. So everything mm-hmm. is coming towards you because it wants you to make it real. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it doesn't mean that everything that come towards you, you need to create. You need to be using that power of discernment. This energy is coming towards me. I'm feeling this type of way. Why am I feeling this way? You know, don't just think that just because you're feeling this way, you need to act on it. Again, there's energies flowing all day long. And then you're around people who have energies flowing. So now they're in your energy field. And now you're feeling their energy. And now it's not your thoughts. So if you go with everything you're thinking, you know. Again. Um, so what you said earlier, one of the first words, and I said, it goes intuition, intuition, discernment, these yes. things powerful when you tap in and know it is what it is though because you have to know that there is also another voice called fear and it will get mistaken for intuition or discernment there are times that we tap into fear because it's that first voice sometimes that we hear you know it's like oh don't do that but it's like wait a minute is this you have to ask yourself is this going to harm me or is this going to help me is this something that you know fear will stop you from going after your goals and you'll be thinking it's your intuition, you know. So again, it's important to mm-hmm. meditate mm-hmm. and to tap into yourself, so you know the voices that you hear. You can discern them within yourself. You can know that feeling in your gut is real or not, you know. Because again, we all were born with it. It's our it's our sixth sense. Yeah, there you go. So I said. Let me digress. I'm gonna digress for a second because I was about to get the whole thing. Listen, because there's so much I want to say. First thing I want to say is that I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it. Oh, Lord, to say. Because uh, swing, bada, bada, fear and doubt, get out. I did a video this morning. I did a live this morning because I was having limits. I was having the heebie-jeebies. I was having anxiety. Let me say, that was anxiety is if you do the supply chain, fear is the bottom feeder for that, okay? So all of that goes into fear. I was having anxiety about things that like, to your point, like, you know, that could be fear. It could make you change your mind. It can make you make decisions that you know aren't going to be the best for you. Because that's what that's what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Is it is either you you either make decisions hastily or things that you know that are that's not what you need to do. Your spirit are telling you to, you need to be fear patient. moves quickly. That's what I'm saying. So I had to be still. I was in the shower, and the fear and the doubt was creeping in because mm-hmm. when I was alone mm-hmm. in the yep. shower, and but something was like eh, get out, and then I literally kicked it out. But to your point, you have to know. You have to. You have to have that discernment in yourself yes. first, because a lot of times we can have that about other people, and uh, but we miss that within ourselves. We and that's don't a lot know of how time to apply have. that to ourselves. We don't know how to apply because because we have to apply that to this inner being that we're talking to. We have to apply. It's like talking to yourself. It's like thinking to yourself. You know, yeah, I learn how to be you. real with ourselves. So that's being, the. All That's the way the real thing is that we can be real about what other people are doing. We can see other people very clearly. 
but seeing ourselves and sitting. That's why a lot of people don't like to be alone. It's because we have to sit with ourselves. But if you can sit with yourself and be okay, then you can get, you can start getting, you can get answers to all kinds of things. But when you are afraid to sit alone with yourself, no, there will be, there will be no answers coming to you because there are so many blockages. There's so much you have to be able to see because it's like shut doors. If you're not real with yourself, then how are you going to get real answers? Like divine yeah. got to filter through all this, this crap that you're, you know, putting you're, up. And you, you're living in an artificial world. Yeah. You are living in a world. You're again, you're, a li you're living in an AI world. You're living in an artificial world. You are a robot following a program. You are following what has been programmed for you to do. Yeah. That's what, you know, for you to believe, for you to read, for you to feel, to keep you at the vibration and, and, and understand that when we talk about everything's a vibe, it's like, you know, it's, it's very, it's very um, intrusive, you know what I'm saying? But it is a vibe it's, and, and it's really, you know, embedded in the things that you read, the things that you <laughs> see, you know, it's all in there to create and bring your vibe down. You have to be aware everything. of how that how you are vibrating. And well, everything like, is working against you outside absolutely. of you. So it's absolutely. always your responsibility to take care of the inside of you. Because you know, we are our own worst enemy. We tell ourselves we can't do something. It don't matter what somebody else say. They can say whatever they want, but the minute you tell yourself you can't do it, you can't do it. It's not happening. It's, it's not like happening. if I look at this eight pound weight that's on my floor right now, if I tell myself I cannot do it, my muscles will feel like noodles and I will not be able to do it. Now, if you tell me I can't do it, it's not going to affect me. It's going to affect me if I allow it to. But in reality, it's only really what I accept in and I say is true. It affects me. And if we Absolutely. live our lives by knowing that, we would say nicer things to ourselves. We would start manifesting what we really wanted because we'll know the energy is alive and it's coming towards us. And we attract better energy when we give off good energy. So stop saying negative things to yourself. Absolutely. You know? Listen, I want to say that because um, what we're talking about is is things that I, I know a lot of people kind of know these things. So, and applying these things it really takes um Focus. It takes love, love of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because this is really self work. It's not. It's not. It's not anything else. You're talking about isolation. You're talking about getting one and getting connected. It's not. It's not work you have to do with anyone else. You know, the sorcery happens. The magic happens within. You know, all of that crap. Because what? Because one of the laws of the universe is your. You know, your your inner world. Your inner world is a reflection of your outer world, and vice versa. So, if the magic is happening on inside, you're going to see the magic happen on the outside. But you have to take that time to do the work on the inside. Make the magic happen on the inside. Get in touch and feel that intuition and know the difference between fear and anxiety and limiting thoughts and and things that don't serve you. You see what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. we fall into the habit of doing things that don't serve us. Knowing good and well, they don't serve us. It's right. not bringing us anything when we fight against ourselves so much. So so you have to do that work to, to, to have the magic happen within you. The sorcery. I'm going back to the sorcery. Tap into yes. the sorcery in yourself. Make the magic happen in you. And I promise you it will happen on the outside and what and what i see so many times is that people try to make the magic happen outside before the inside they just kind of building the house backwards you're trying to build up the sides and all of that stuff but your foundation ain't laid you are the foundation self is always the foundation anything nothing no house can be built without the foundation. And so if you try to work around it, the shit's going to fall. The windows ain't going to stay. The top's going to fall off. But if you put that lay, a sturdy foundation of self-worth, self-knowledge, knowledge of self, and being open to always learning, that's the one thing that keeps me open to knowledge and divine, always coming back to me with more and more is because I'm open to saying, oh, okay, so I thought this was it. And this was a part of it. This ain't all of it. And I'm always learning new stuff stuff but the minute that we close our minds down and we say nope this is how I this is it this is what we believe this is what I've been taught and I'm not trying to, then you know just give it up just stop because we like right now even to this day who could have imagined what we've gone through in the last three years and we learned how to 
we are human beings in spirits in human bodies are adaptable to practically anything right but the thing the, that's a that's a pro and a con because we are also able to be easily influenced into doing anything and this is why it's important again to lay that solid foundation and not let other people build your houses for you make mm -hmm. sure that you know who you are you know even if you're in the church read your bible read your bible for yourself don't let someone just preach to you read it because if it makes all the sense in the world to you continue to read it if there's gaps look for the information because guess what there is 50 miles of doctrine under the vatican i promise you there are some missing documents there are things that you are not going to get all the truths on. But if you search for knowledge, knowledge will be searching for you. What you seek is seeking you. And so we like at the end of the day, we are responsible for the foundation of our own houses. And so if your house falls down, even though the people around you were shady, you were responsible for making sure that you had the power of discernment within you to make the right judgment calls. Like it always comes back to us. Look, that's so I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna start to close the show like this because if we go any foot, we're gonna have a show. You have a show after this. I know you need to listen. And I do want to respect this is part of my respect of time. I want to stay within my hour. Okay. Right. Okay. I like to store on time and on time. That's what we do. And I got a lot of announcements with our Foxy Roxy. Let me tell y'all. I hope y'all had your and and take her and you was taking notes okay taking notes sorcery is a very good word tap into sorcery. i like that word i'm gonna start I using that too chris when you hear me on the show tonight we're gonna talk about sorcery we're gonna tap into source we're gonna make the magic happen within okay new ways of thinking we, well, that's what i want us to think we're gonna reprogram our brains to take it because it you know it's just almost like a water filter we're gonna take the dirty water and filter that and put in some new clean thoughts some exactly. new ways of thinking okay that's what we're gonna do because you, again once you stop learning once you stop growing what you you might as well i think i said this yesterday you might as well just roll over go to sleep somewhere like you know you're here to <laughs> engage in life i say that all the time mm -hmm. to be an active participant yes you know what i'm saying so you know that's growing learning all of that so thank you again foxy boxy Absolutely. tell them where they can find you oh so y'all catch me on pro noia star c podcast yes pro noia star c podcast both places on ig has the underscore so it's pro noia underscore star c underscore podcast and you catch me on facebook i'm always live on facebook y'all that's my home that's where i started out so i'll be there tonight again we'll be doing tarot tuesdays it's going to be a quicker show because we had the show so it's going to only be for like 30 minutes so y'all tap in it'll be coming i'll be coming on actually a little bit earlier than i have announced since we're going to be wrapping it up soon so i'll take me a quick break and get on there so check me out over there on facebook yes so yes 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 make sure that you uh check her out i know i'm gonna go get my tarot reading let, let me tell you something because again spirit is always conspiring on my behalf and the message that i'm the messages that i have been getting have been wonderful guiding pieces jewels like little nuggets used to help lead the way you know or just to confirm good job, good job child whatever yeah your messages be on point <laughs> my messages have been on point for i promise you all throughout covid because before you started your podcast i was following someone else and i stumbled across her and it was like oh. and every time i come on she'd be right on the tour right and i'm like and it, and it was very it was it was all about me the struggle you know what I was going through at that it was it was that part of it was the narrow lane in my journey <laughs> I'll put it like that where things were really tight and it was like you know if you were on that road by yourself you know and then it, she um, and the, the messages were amazing and then you started doing yours and I was like yes now I can but I mean not bad but I was like I'm gonna go over here today. I love it. So make sure you go and check her out. 
again, Pono and Spicy Podcast. She's going to be on after this, shortly yes, after. So good. I know you have already liked and subscribed. That's good. Actually, share, can you put uh, it up again? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I will do that. Let's do that. Put that up there for you. Make sure you do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Check her out. Please. Yeah, we'll be coming over onto YouTube real soon. Um, I just been having some issues with the little banner. I want my page to look right before I come over here, y'all. I'm just struggling a little bit because you know I've been yeah. trying not to lean on my sister because my sister doing her own things now. You know, she's big dog, so I got to go get me some help somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. My, my, my retired. She be helping me out, yo. That's my sis. I ain't gonna lie. Like yes. for real, when I started my podcast, and look, oh, we do go um sis, just just one drop. There will be my sis will be joining me for Pronoia after dark, y'all. So we'll talk about that and she'll she'll drop on that, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we'll be on that very soon. So listen, this um again, like, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of y'all. But I again I said it at the beginning, I want to close because I really want y'all to understand how much I really truly do appreciate all of the supports. I promise you it has been overwhelming in 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 a very good way. So the, the energy is high and I appreciate it. Um, if you would like to be a sponsor, say you would like to, you know, promote your products or you want to support the podcast, make sure you send me an email. The email is scrolling across the bottom. It's tellemchris at gmail.com. I greatly appreciate that. And thank you to my sponsors. And I'm going to let's go ahead and call those out now because we do have some sponsors. And I appreciate you all. As well, we have Miss uh, Sharon on the run. Thank you so much for sharing on the run for being a sponsor of, of the podcast. I greatly appreciate you sewing into into my project and, and the information that I'm sharing. It means a lot because uh, it means a lot. That's all I have to say. Um, also, I would appreciate I appreciate Super Radio. You can catch all of the rebroadcasts on Super Radio. DMV.com. Um, probably tomorrow you can be able to catch this episode and the past four episodes. And coming very soon, you're going to be able to catch those on Wow Radio. Yeah, so when they, them. yes, yes, Wow Radio, Wow Radio. Uh oh, that might be a clip. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. You know, she might use it. Um, <laughs> very soon I'll make that announcement when it, when it drops, you'll be able to catch all of the past episodes and catch up to the current season to where we are. And, um, so make sure you check out wildradio.net, wildyouradio.net. Okay. And of course, black women connected communities. I always shout them out. Love their group of ladies. Uh, appreciate you all for always being supportive. Um, right now we're doing like a campaign. It's like, how good can it get? You know what I'm saying? How good can it get? We will ask ourselves, how good can we get? And so it's a form of showing gratitude um, and being grateful and, and just seeing and appreciating all that the universe is doing on our behalf. So shout out to BWCC. Make sure you follow them on Facebook or in Instagram right there. You can do BLK Women CC for all of that information and y'all again like i said subscribe to the channel and you have been doing that and again i'm so appreciative okay and listen oh next week is actually fourth of july weekend i'm gonna have a pre-recorded show and i have a very 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 i am so excited about who i have coming up next week he's coming here from alabama to be to tape live we're going to tape the show live this thursday but you'll see it next week next tuesday i have a uh, frank hardy coming to the show oh my god i'm so excited uh, for those who do not know i met frank hardy um when i went to selma last march when i walked when i did the selma to montgomery walk and on the last event, the last day of the event, I met Frank and we hit it off immediately. We've been like friends. He's been like a mentor, uh, inspirational. He's very creative. He's going to be joining me. Um, we're going to actually do a live taping this Thursday and you'll be able to catch the episode next uh, Tuesday. 
I will be in Virginia Beach, but the show will be live. So I'll be watching it with you guys. And we can comment and stuff like that. We can engage in the chat. But uh, yeah, I'm so excited. So make sure you check that out. The Eye of the Beholder. We're going to be talking about art, vision, and all that stuff. So y'all know how we do. So make sure you check that out. I'm so excited. Make sure Frank Hardy coming all the way from Alabama to be on the show. That is, I'm telling you, what I'm talking about, the support and the love, it's like, is real and that and the appreciation is genuine and I just could not um thank everybody enough for watching the show. I might get emotional but I'm a very gracious person and I thank you all every single morning in my gratitude journal. So I just want you guys to know that I do think about you guys. You guys are kind of part of my family now. I hope that you are learning a lot. Again, the notes keep them I hope that you are um, learning something that you can apply to your life. And as we continue to grow, that you'll be able to expand and contribute to the knowledge base that we're having. This introducing is not just me doing it. It's all of us bringing something new to the table. So that's why each of my guests, thank you, Foxy Roxy. Listen, you answering that question brought it all home. I know that everyone will be able to Reflect on that question now, especially if you if you if you watch the show and then you're a guest, you'll be able to reflect on that question and give us an answer on how you do that and use that energy. So without further ado, I would love to just thank you all again for joining me. Now it's time to what? Say goodbye <laughs> to all my family. Uh Next week again, but it'll be a recorded show. I'll be joining you watching it live at 7 o'clock. Have a great holiday weekend, and I will catch you guys next week. Any final words, Roxy? No, just catch me on Pronoia Star C Podcast, y'all. I'll be over there around 8.30. Instead of 8.45, I'll be on a little bit earlier. I'm always late, so whatever. Bye, y'all. <laughs> All right, so check it out. I'm going to get my tarot reading. I hope you get yours. Um, and then, you know, uh, next week, Frank Hardy special show. It's going to be awesome sauce. I can't wait. Make sure you follow, like, and subscribe. And until next week, make sure that you are learning new things along the way. All right? Have a great day.